Um, so I did a question. I can't tell you how many people have asked me why Malcolm Marx isn't starting, especially you know, after the injury to Bongi. Can you maybe just shed some light for the public? Yeah, we had a massive debate before we selected the team on Marx and uh, Marx last week had a great game, man of the match. 4 10 was in the game. It was his special day, 50th game, and, uh, and he did very well. And he was massive in our game. And uh, but once again, we know what Malcolm Marx has done for us in the past at, uh, as, as, as part of the bomb squad. You know, so if you look at the combinations that we've got in the team, you know, we know Malcolm Marx with Kitsov and and, and and Vincent Koch. They they've they've done it many times as a, as a combination. And uh, Oaks getting an opportunity also to start at loose club. So I think for us it was a matter of just combinations because if you look at Ox and Joseph Weber, they've been playing together since the age of 19, you know, from school, you know, and they, they played at the Cheetah. So I think for us as a coaching staff, it made sense that to select the best combinations, you know. So that's the only reason that he, he's starting ahead of uh, ahead of Malcolm Marx. But once again, you know, Malcolm Marx is massive in our system and uh, our players, they understand our, 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 our vision and the goal as a, as a, as a coaching staff because of Sometimes we do give them a choice who wants to start, who wants to play off the bench. So some of the players, they prefer to celebrate when the game is finished on the field. Some players don't enjoy to finish on the, on the seats. So that's the only reason. It's just because of the good combinations between the, the, the team that is starting. You know, Franz Malleva can, can fit in with, with everyone. You know, that's why they call him Pat Spence. Mr. just your on the around the aerial tactics this week. <laughs> it's fine, I thought we were playing boring rugby. So you know it's funny actually now all of a sudden aerial skills and the contestable kicking game is a problem in the game. We've always played like this. We don't hide how we play the game. It's part of our DNA, uh, the kicking game. And uh, like you saw, you know, a lot of people last week they were questioning the size of Kedley Arens and then you saw how massive he was. When it comes out, we wanted to, 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 to play the game, and he was, even Makazole Mapimbi was, the, I think, probably one of the best games that I've ever got involved in when it comes to the contestable kicking game. You know, so for us, it's part of our DNA. We won't change anything. I, 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 unfortunately, with the uh, situation that happened in the last one where Ketli Arens got a, a red card, in, where a player was contesting nicely throughout the whole game, you know, he was just got a bad timing on the last one, you know, and the player got punished by getting a red card and he's suspended. I know one thing for sure, it was in his, his intention and that's not how we coach. We don't coach to cause injuries, you know. We always coach We always coach by the law, by the book, you know, so it was just unfortunate and I know one thing for sure, Ketley Harris did apologize to Bernard Barrett and uh, uh, we always try to play in a good spirit and uh, there's a massive respect between the two teams, the All Blacks and, and the Springboks. So once again, uh, it was a just unfortunate situation, but I was happy with the performance of all around with the whole team, you know, when it comes to how we wanted to execute our plan. And I think it worked well on the day for us. Yeah, uh, just for you, um, how big of a challenge is it to back up that performance from last week? And what do you expect different, given this part the, the dryer and the ball not being that slippery on the field? Um, yeah, so... It, uh, we thought about like we it happened the game one and we celebrated and we you know with a team like this you can't dwell on that for too long because we know the kind of players they have you know they can turn around you know it takes one moment uh, one special moment and they're on top of you so on Sunday already you know Chalk has sent his clips you know we do King game on Monday so we're already um, watching the clips getting ready we watch the game together on Monday again there's still so much more uh, room to, to, to improve and, and as you said it's it's a little bit wet in Bombela and Ellis Park is very dry which plays into their hand you know they want they the the they, they, they wanna run you know they, they'll be able to run from anywhere like they did um, in, in Bombela but it's not gonna change what we're gonna do as coach said you know we're still gonna stick to our kicking game which has been working for us we're gonna contest, uh, contest in the air if not on the ground, um, but yeah, we, we're looking forward to a proper contest and I think, yeah, both uh, benches are going to be important with a, 
uh, uh, try stage on like that, and with a lot of out running like me, you're gonna need guys gonna come on and bring on more energy in the day. Uh, coach, um, we spoke just now about uh, Malcolm. Uh, one of the things in the first half was how effective Malcolm was at taking the rhythm um, out of the All Blacks attacks. You know, the few times that they did get in your half, it's just that they couldn't get anywhere. Uh, how do you see that um, gap being filled? Are there guys that have to just do better than normal? Or, or you know, that, that void, how do you see that being filled? Yeah, I know Malcolm is one of those specialist features, you know, he specialized very well with the breakdown, but also on the other side, you're gaining another experienced player, which is when really, we know what he can do also on the breakdowns. So I don't think we're going to lose that much when it comes to starting the game. And once again, you know, where the old are also dangerous, is that back end of the game, you know, where they normally want to put teams away. So it's also vital for us to make sure that, yes, we do have guys that can slow that rhythm also later in the game, you know. So as you saw last week, Malcolm Max had a proper performance, you know, giving us those uh, well, those penalties on the breakdowns. I think it will also be vital, like Sia said now, we know the All Blacks will probably try, try to, to keep the ball in hand, more especially in the later stage in the second half. So once again, Malcolm will, will add value also off the bench. He has done it for us many times before. So I don't think it's going to be a massive change. I think it's fair for us also. A guy like Dwebo who's been with us in our system and we know what he can do sometimes with Pauline and also he's a bit dangerous player. He's got good running running uh, skills, so he's very physical also. So yeah, we're losing another fetch on the starting lineup, but on the other side we're also getting one doing being in the team. Uh Captain, uh, just the loose trio. It's the first time that world championship this trio is starting together since the World Cup final. Uh, how are you feeling about the reunion? Um, has anything changed? And, and what are you what are you guys going to bring this Saturday? Do you feel this is the right time to, to come together as that new trio with Green and, and Peter Skeff? As well as Prastik, if you can also add uh, to, to, to that in terms of what you expect, what are the instructions uh, three years on from what we did in, in Yokohama. Um, yeah, um, I, I actually didn't know. I thought we had played together because um, I played with PT um, during the Lions and, and Dwayne attended from OVC got hurt then. But Dwayne was injured then. Um, but yeah, we, we found out earlier in the week, I think, but nothing has changed for us. Um, it's the same instructions as we got or the same game plan as we did. Uh, during the World Cup, and we expect the same. We expect the same from each other. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing it, but it doesn't matter who. Honestly, who I'm playing with, I have to deliver the same, you know, and I have to um, make sure that you know my job doesn't change by by, by, by any chance. But having someone like Dwayne and um, back in the team with that kind of experience, you know, and it's an important game against the, the an Oakland team. I always need as many brains, as much experience as, as I can have around me on the field. And um, and obviously PT um, is back. It felt like he, he wasn't even injured the way he's going on in the field. It's always good to have him back. So I'm looking forward to uh, for, for Dwayne because he hasn't played a lot. So I'm, I'm keen to see what he can do because I know he doesn't need a lot of games to get back in the game. He's one of those guys. They're just some rugby players who don't need to go home and play in the club and then come back and some guys can just do it. Someone like PT too. Where Coach Seagull told me I need a couple of games. I'll need to play like five games before I get my my, my game right. But I'm looking forward to see what the guys can do. It's a big game, you know, so um yeah, I think they'll be ready. Yeah, I think we are in a in a good position as a team, you know, to have uh, an experience in the and a lot of leadership amongst that that loose trio spoon, you know. Uh, and having Dwayne back in the team, once again, a guy like Jasper Wiesel, you know, I think he grabbed this opportunity with both hands. He's been massive in our team, working very hard and also having a massive impact in the game. But once again, having an experienced guy like Dwayne coming back from the injury, uh, where it's a big game against the All Blacks, you know. Dwayne has done it for us before, like you mentioned. The last time they played as a combination in Yokohama, you know. 
So I think we are in a fortunate position as a, as a coaching staff and uh, I think the stress that we, we do have now at the moment, I think it's a good stress in a sense of there's a lot of competition amongst those positions and uh, I'm happy also to see Dwayne coming back, you know, because he's been massive in our system. Like Sia mentioned earlier on, his leadership skills and the calmness that he brings on the field, you know, I think uh, the timing of him coming back against the Old Blacks, I think it's a perfect time for us as coaching staff. Uh, see ya. Skip. Um, I just want to firstly, very lightheartedly, um, you guys are just ticking off these wonderful records and accomplishments. If you beat New Zealand on Saturday, it's three in a row, which is I think only the second team in the professional era that has done that. Are you guys? Do you guys have a, like a little checkboard that you make that you tick off on? And then yeah. secondly, more importantly, how are you, you now entering? One of the great Bok team teams of all time. You're going to emulate, obviously, probably, hopefully, 2009's team. How do you do that on Saturday, beating the the All Blacks? Um, no, we don't have a um, a checkbox. We we just take it game by game as a team because you know we don't want to um, be thinking so far ahead. And obviously, the coaches have plans. Like we said, we. The coach want to see, they're planning for the World Cup, they want to see every single guy in the team, so the team changes every now and then, you know, the plans that have been made, and um, becoming the best team, um, or one of the best ball teams, I mean, that, that, that would be a great thing, um, but, you know, we, we all can control as well, how, how hard we, we work and, 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 and how hard um, we play on Saturday, so... Um, we, we we definitely um, want to win. It's important to us, you know. First of all, to, to, to play well and hopefully win. We none of us have ever been in this situation. I don't think coach, the coaching staff, and the players, you know. And we we want to make sure we give it everything we can and uh, on, on on Saturday. Um, coach, the side. Um, obviously, you guys don't really look too far ahead, you know, obviously the All Blacks this weekend is the big one, but uh, heading off on a tricky, you know, three away game tour, you know, two in Australia, one in Argentina, and uh, with your record in Australia not being that great, how important, you know, is it this weekend to, you know, put in a big performance, get a win to take that momentum into the next three games of the Rugby Championship, which are on the road? Yeah, I think for us it's a... Uh it's a, it's, a, it's a progress in, in what we do and how we want to play the game. And uh, you can't ask for a better position than to play back-to-back -back games against the Oblex at home. You know, uh, we're probably the first team to be able, in my, in my lifetime, to remember. I think we're the first team to play against the Oblex back-to-back in South Africa. You know? I think it's, it's very important for us to make sure that we start well. You know? So this coming game also tomorrow, it's a, it's a massive challenge for us. And it will be great. It will be great for the team. You know the progress of where we want to go to, and we know the challenge that lies ahead when it comes to us going on tour. But we don't want to look that far. You know, I think the biggest thing for us is the game tomorrow, and we know how massive it is to play against the All Blacks and the, the venue. Also, I think it's a historical place between the two, between the two teams. You know, I remember as a youngster back in 1995. I will never forget the image that I saw back in those days with Tatu Matiba and Joe Joe Spransky kicking those dog goals. You know. Uh, so for us to be able now to be in the same venue, which is between us and the Old Blacks, uh, you can't ask for any better venue than Ellis Park. You know, Bombela was special. I think the vibe there, the people, it's probably one of the best I've ever experienced, you know, uh, in, uh, in, in, in El Spade. It was very special, but we're just in a fortunate position at the moment to be able to play back to back at home against the Old Blacks, you know. It's always tough to play against them, but once again, we don't want to look too far and focus on what we're going to do on tour, the most important thing for us is to make sure that we keep building by also trying to perform tomorrow and hopefully the scoreboard will be on our side. Kostik, um, first of all, Jan from me, so, yes. <laughs> um, I know my, the captain doesn't want to hear my voice, but I have to ask a question though. Coach, Coach Stig, the one quote I took out of your conference um, earlier of the Bombera test was, you said if you lose your focus for one second, this New Zealand side can punish you. Is that still the thinking of the spin box even to the second class, knowing that you beat them convincingly in Bombela? Can I can just add something to the whole choices to real quick um, issue? Is it not a case of Jacques Miller, but you guys' management throwing him in the deep end against a team like New Zealand? 
and see that. I just want to ask you this question. Away from your team, I know you want to focus on your team and your team only. Something significant happened this morning here in front of the hotel. You guys took a team photo with the women's team. What is your message to the women's team? They're playing against Spain. And what do you say to your fans? Would you want them to come out and support the women's team as well? Mm -hmm. uh, welcome back, Pessy. Good to see you, man. Uh, Pessy, yeah, like I've mentioned, all blacks are a world-class side, you know. It takes a good performance to beat them. People, they, they look at the results at the moment and think that All Blacks are a bad team. You know, it took Ireland for them to play their probably best possible games they've ever played to be able to beat the All Blacks in New Zealand. Same goes with us. I think that was one of the best performances in my experience since Yokohama against England. The way we executed our plan, you know, and the way the guys were playing for 80 minutes in the game where we kept on fighting, you know. And you saw a bit of when they scored their try. It was from there half, you know, where one of our players, I think two of our players were we switch off a bit and we miss the tackles. And that's the that's that's what the old blacks can do to you on a day. If you switch off they won't punish you because of they've got world class players. Having Mawonga now in that team to start will even make them more dangerous, you know. So once again all blacks are not a bad side, you know. It takes the Springbok team to be able to play their best game to beat the old blacks. You know, so once again, for us, it's a massive challenge, and uh, we know we know tomorrow if we must, if we're going to win the game, we're going to have to play probably again another and top up the best performance that we had last week. You know, so once again, they've got world-class players. There's a massive respect between the two teams. You know, Percy, and uh, for me, I'm just also happy in the fact that in our squad, if you look at our squad now at the moment, we've got a lot of great leaders in that squad. If you look at the Captains that we've got. See, I mentioned Dwayne. See, as a, a captain from the Sharks, we've got guys like Lucano, the experience that we've got, Stephen Kitsov, Stomas, Stomas captain. I think we are in a good position. And our guys, I think they're taking a full responsibility on how to manage the game. Because of once again, if you go back to Wales, we started slow. If you understand? When we played in, in, a, in the Loftus. But I think the guys now at the moment, we're starting to gel in now as a team, you know. And uh, it's good to see. Uh, us that at least we can contribute in our country where we make our supporters happy. So I'm very happy and uh, looking forward to the challenge tomorrow. And once again, congratulations to uh, Franz Malerbe, who's going to have also a massive milestone, 50th game, you know, someone who's been, a lot of people don't say much about him, but he's one of the guys that I've got a soft spot for him, you know, because of tight heads, <laughs> the amount of job they're doing on the field, you know, when it comes to the scrums, you know, when it comes to the malls, when it comes to the line out, when it comes to the breakdowns, a lot of people don't realize the value that he adds in our team. So, um, once again, congratulations to him, and I'm uh, very, very proud of him and uh, got massive respect for him. Did I answer everything? You don't think you'd rather throw Joseph into the deep end again? Okay, Joseph Dweber. There's no player in that squad, PC, that squad of 42, there's no player that doesn't deserve to be in that squad. A lot of those guys, they've earned their stripes in that team. So, uh, Joseph Dweber, his experience, went to play in France. You saw when he was playing for the Cheetahs, he was one of the big names in that team. Now, coming back to the Stormers, which is, I'm also very happy for him, probably, uh, you know, uh, where we can also have a bit of a control of uh, where we can manage it, you know. So, I don't think it's a deep end. He's, he's a big boy. He's tough. And uh, I'm excited, actually, you know. So, it's not a matter of us being nervous about him. We're not nervous at all. And we've got a massive, massive, massive belief that Joseph Teba will pitch up tomorrow and Joseph Teba will perform. There's no pressure at all. We've got a good team, you know, and he trusts the people around him. So I don't I don't think he's in a negative end. I know one thing for sure he can swim. Uh, I think Sia must answer. We don't want to fight with Pace here. <laughs> um, yeah, um, it was beautiful what happened this morning. Um, I was taking pictures with the, with the ladies and um, I've been a big supporter of them for a very long time and I go to the games, I go chat to them, talk to them on social media, I try and post about them as much as I can because I really believe they work as hard as we do, as we do if not harder and you know, and we know just in general women in sport don't like in this, the, the, the female sports, sports stars don't really get as much as, as we do and I think it's it, it's it's up to us uh, as men to make sure that we celebrate them ourselves and we talk about them and to see them and how hard they've had to 
work and where they come from, you know, with their competition starting. And every year they're just getting better and better, our, our, our women's team. And now we've got some of them are playing international teams, some are playing service teams, etc. Um, and and they just beat it, they just won against Japan who beat Australia and, and that's something that don't feel like it's celebrated enough. It's a big thing, uh, not just for them, for us as a country because now you don't only have young boys, you know, from anywhere in the country that can say they can you know they can make it and now it's young girls too who can dream um, so big. So to see them and spend time with them was really amazing. And um, yeah, I'm proud of them and uh, people should come out earlier, you know, start your prize, you can start prying it. You have a reason now to start prying earlier and have a few cold ones a little bit earlier because the women are playing, uh, they're playing at one o'clock against Spain and I think it's going to be a, a, an amazing game and we keep on supporting them and continue to support them because they do need it as much as we do. At the end of the day, they're representing all of us. Uh, Coach, you're yeah, yeah. Mike? Um, the, the, the All Blacks have made quite a significant change at 10. Um, does the dynamic change at all as far as defence is concerned? And, and then just what, what does uh, Richie Moana bring to the table that's possibly unique compared to Bowman? Yeah. Uh, we know he's a world-class player. You know, we've got a, a massive, massive respect for him and, uh, and, and his team. And, you know what he has achieved for Crusaders, you know, as a player, uh, winning Super Rugby, I don't know for how many years in a row. You know, he's a, he's a big, big, big player for them, and I don't think they, they're losing much on having him to start. They're actually gaining more because of he's a very, very tough customer, you know. He can mix his game around very well when it comes between running and also using the kicks to get into space. So, we know tomorrow it's going to be a different challenge having him there. Uh, Barrett also did well, he was world class, we've got respect also for him, but I think Mahunga will bring something different, you know, so we've, we spoke about him and uh, uh, and we know how dangerous it is, and once again, to play against the All Blacks, like I said last week, you know, Percy mentioned it, said that you, you can't just not switch off, you can't switch off when you play against them, you have to get your best for 80 minutes, the moment you switch off, they've got proper, proper world class players there that can punish you, so once again, it's going to be a tough game, but I think these are the moments we live for, you know. It's a very, very special moment and it's also sometimes, I have to be honest about it, it's also good for us as South Africans, you know, to, to produce the results, to keep our people happy, to keep our supporters happy, you know, because of we've been through tough time as a, as, a, as, a, as a team. If you look back around 2016 when I started getting involved with the team, 2017, we've been through tough times. A lot of these players I know, they've went through that process also where they were going through tough times. To be able to see those players now growing as, as human beings and, 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 and as brothers also. So it's something that I, I enjoy to see, you know. Uh, looking at a guy like Sia from Sweden, you know, uh, <laughs> he, he showed, listen, life is all about opportunities, you know. He was given an opportunity to lead a team. And I think it's something that Sia can be proud of, you know. And uh, also the guys around our team, the guys around our team, I think we are in a good pay, uh, space as a, as a as a nation. I think we are in a good space as a as a Springbok team. And like Sia mentioned again, I think South African rugby in general we are in a good space. If you see what the Blitzbok has achieved, and you look at the ladies now to be able to beat Japan away from home, that is massive. The junior teams are also uh, performing very well. So I think it's, it's, I'm very very proud to be South African where I am, and uh, it's good to see that we can contribute in the country not as a team. I see how you, you spoke last week um, about the motivation. You, you, you asked last week about the size between Kegley and uh, and Caleb Do you still want to ask the question? No, I think it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> joking. Um, yeah, see, uh, um, last week we spoke about you know, not having beaten the All Blacks uh, since 2014 in, in South Africa. And you were quite clear that that's a big motivational factor. Um, there's obviously this whole issue that you guys have to be talking game by game and so on, but is there something similar to that? You mentioned first time at home since 2014. What is that driving factor, uh, similar driving factor that you guys are, are emphasizing uh, internally as a team uh, this week? <laughs> no, I don't think I'll share that. I'll keep that for, for us, but we are motivated for the game, I can tell you that, but we, because 
you know, in culture earlier, we've never been in this situation before, you know, where we can, you know, win uh, two games in a row. And, and yeah, it, it's something that we, and also for the competition, you know, it will put us in a, in a, in, in a good position going to Australia, like Coach said, you know, because we, we want to make sure we're building momentum as we're going forward, not only for now, going to next year as well. And, um, yeah, every game, like I always say, that it's, it's important for us. And this one at Ellis Park, you know, and, um, yeah, out. There's a lot of us who actually never played here against the, the, the Old Blacks. So we're looking forward to There's a lot of motivation behind it. But we want to be part of the group that we're able to win in South Africa back to back. Because I don't know if we'll get the opportunity again. And guys, uh, that wraps up the English section of uh, our press conference. Uh, any questions you need to call stuff? Uh, my name is Nongozo Omnia for Nina Novabin, Oako, Port Stephen, Telugoza. Your final chess, Yata Vitelega, Pai, Piquin, Uzao, Kubisana, and Alemans, Lady, your Pai News Land. You don't need a Tonga, who is a Yas Bar, a Jaiho Lasho, in Kodwa uza spagela ndoni, kukulo mbuzo kanyi nefana uapelele enze ndoni ena ukwenza ba apile abuye amsho yukona yu homework ene mtumeo na nati kabu senza ezi ya abuye taso yuko mbile no homework Owaku mbuzo mkokeli kutetiwe kukukukukui na lemisha alo ila nemela na yusando chongo ukoto kene Nikoni tuba apo bini kena betwa amatela matatu. So nye yazi la pressure buyo uye enforce kena kena lake. Kwa da nikuwa ziluichi ka pae Australia o beta i old man subula mkano oke bea. Ni kape lege londo leba ino kumbuzi. Ndo ba kuchongwe i old man singa tizi. Ibu tataka kaba betwe ili kame tatwe elane lela nani. Oh, spoke um bozo kala about to chase the lucky wing. Who chase the lucky wing? Who come over about to allow the answer? Who save the fourteen lucky wing? That's the thing against the injuries. And then fourteen, I sing about the crazy. Yes, we go. We skate some. We go and get trouble. Cause we can't afford to jump over the fence and get a knock. We spend a bit of money. We go and save the lucky wing. But because of who chase the lucky wing? Who save 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 the lucky wing? So and uh, we experience and we are as a system here to pass from the Sifumu Zalanja. We are a family, 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 on our experience, and we are as in the legal area about good team yet. So, they are very nice. I've managed to because of the final seven of our country, my school. So, I have a competition between Kuya and Lukanyo. In the school, we are one of the leaders in finance. My work is. I've finished. I'm back on the road. I'm going to go. Oh, oh, oh! I'm going to make the position. If we have a competition, we have a team. So, as by in the future, no matter what the injuries, so as by back on our final. So we are going to take over. So we are going to take over. So we are going to And yeah, they are going to have money too. And then we are going to have money too. Fast. Oh, we are going to have money too. Fast. We are going to have money too. I think we are going to have money too. 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 So we are going to have money too. So we are going to have money too. So we are going to have money too. We are going to have money too. But in the Bali players, God is in the seven years So, and this is the one that goes But otherwise, yes, we did communicate with the coaching staff and Sharks. My eyes are going to be And that's not the second one. I'm going to be the one who's going to be Otherwise, uh, see, I have a fan of the port in Sharks. Cool. So, in the Bali players, I'm going to be in the Bali players. So, at least, it's a little bit of the Bali players and Sharks. And we call it the Bali players. I'm going to be in the Non, pour dire ça, ça y est, la, la main qu'on gagne les situations, les mecs, les autres, les noirs, et d'un tout à fait, c'est une tactique à gagner. 
and um, see that's why I a preparation preparation but I was saying that I was saying that I was saying that I was saying that I was as a promoted in the parliament, in a condition but <laughs> His tomb is the house but but Get I think Siginda went to a cool, and they have real and a more bona banoco. He results is ya, Zia Bonagala, for Tauto and Carrera Sevens, but we may go with them, Abon Comor games, Utonga, Alamina, but was the better Carrera Sechapan, but better look of one. It's mere things now, so they are performing on the cool. I think Siginda went to a cool, see country, see SRA, and in the Fuera Noco, not in Bonaba. He supports the Tavaland debate by a head to gender Bakuni. And the Yona Yona to go in Kulbakuni would make sure to trust money to the squads, but not to Bono Abisa Valand debate because of if you are young, tell two of us who are cool of Glemina Suabuimi being the ones in our cool. Say as a man of an interval by a bathrupeca and the perfume is in the Bessenzeca, the loser family members. Upon that, in again, see, now was fortunate by Sikwazi. Who contribute to country and you know that Matiba once said but it's, it's sport is it's in a power so 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 united country. The images that we saw in Bombella, uh, I will never forget those images. If you remember even over the room of the triapi, they were celebrated. It was just it was special to see that. I think yeah, those are the men. Come with the so in that regard, let us see Pelé out team. See, we are talking about Cuba. Tina, we always want to unite the country. And the guy say, say, if we are in that and Simbole are not in Cuba, see Cuba, see Guazi, who 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 so I remember I used to call myself Township Stransky because of 
what George Transky did for us, you know. So <laughs> that is the power that Lake Genom Port. So in I, I want to say, we are to Basikulo, and the Atemba Nangom, so Sakwaz, Abalan, and Betu Sibam, Sibam, and they just put me as the right. Oh, thank you, Transky. Okay. <laughs> It's because of Inzela, Pilanga, and Tony Panaya for the band, and Inzela out and I import. Because of the Kumbula, look at your soldiers, his goals is in gold. and got it before. It's the force. 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 No, what I want about Fanabat Jamaica is already not here. By a condo, no, but no, it is possible. Yeah, one because the Gabada Banor later could go out close in the sense of Bakule Lenda or Bakilabui. So, say, we are in the Indela, Ulukana, the Langayo, and the their temper about says our column the Lord because of Indela and our top of the and the Vuela and I, Nabayama Talaba around the Nifia Jamaica, so we have an hour pool. There was so, yeah, the Vuela and the other important. No trouble. There was no trouble. Uno, yeah, there was. No, no. Uno, name respect. Anthony, <laughs> have fun now. Oh, look. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Thanks uh, for being here. I'm Steven. Don't you repeat that? 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 Don't you repeat that?